Next topic is tangents and normals. Say if uh, suppose. This is x axis, this line is y axis, OG. Suppose that this is a curve y equal to fx. On this curve, this is a point, let me say it a particular point, x0, y0. At this point, I am taking a line which is a tangent. This line is tangent. This is tangent line. So tangent to this curve at x0, y0. To find the equation of this tangent line, we require a point and it's a slope. Say so here, point is clear. Now what will be its slope? So remember the first point for y equal to fx and a point x0 y0 on this curve x0 y0 is a point on this curve First point is the slope of slope of tangent at x0 i0 is given by dy by dx at that point x0 y0. In dy by dx, we shall get the coordinates of x0, y0. So dy by dx and x0, y0 is the slope of tangent at x0, y0. Now, so equation of tangent, therefore, equation of tangent. Y slope point form y minus y1 y minus y1 equal to m m means this is slope into say this value we can also say it is f dash at x0 divide by dx at x0 y0 that means derivative of f with respect to x, that is f plus x at x equal to x. This is slow. This is slow. M means a slow. So m into m into x minus x0. So y minus y0 is equal to m into x minus x0. Then now at this point of contact, at the same point x0, y0, if I take a line which is perpendicular to tangent, line perpendicular to tangent passing from point of contact, this line is said to be normal. So because these are perpendicular line, from slope of tangent, slope of normal can be found. If two lines are perpendicular, we know that n1 into n2 is minus 1. So from slope of tangent, we can find slope of normal. So that will be take the reciprocal and change the sign. Means if m1 into m2 is minus 1, so what is m2? m2 
is minus 1 upon m1. So therefore, the slope of the slope of normal, slope of normal at x0 y0. Slope of normal at x0 y0 is given by is given by a is the reciprocal and k the sign minus 1 upon dy by dx at x0 y0 or we can say a is the reciprocal and change the sign minus 1 upon f dash x0 so slope of normal so equation of normal therefore Equation of normal. Equation of normal at x zero y zero is equation of normal at x zero y zero is using the slope point form y minus y zero equal to this is now slope m and I put in this form m into x minus x0. So that is slope of normal. Then now see if slope uh, slope of a tangent or if a uh, Angle is parallel to x-axis. If angle at x0, y0 is parallel to x-axis, if tangent is parallel to x-axis, then its slope will be zero. Then this will be zero. Divide by dx at x0, y0. This value will be zero, and if tangent is parallel to y-axis, that means it will be vertical line, and slope of vertical line is not defined. So if tangent is is parallel to y-axis. Or tangent is vertical line, then dy by dx at x0 y0 is not defined. It is not defined. Then one more point. If uh, Suppose, here, yeah. I am taking two curves. This is y equal to f1x. This curve is y equal to f2x. Topic is orthogonal curves. Suppose these two curves are given y equal to f1x, y equal to f2x. Their point of intersection is x0, y0. Now, if at point of intersection, if we draw tangent to both the curves, suppose tangent to this curve, this is tangent 1, it is tangent to this curve y equal to f1x at x0, y0. And tangent to the second curve at the same point. It is this line. This is second line, D2. If these tangents are perpendicular, then these curves are said to be orthogonal curves or intersect orthogonally. So in this case, 
slope of this line into slope of this line will be equal to minus 1. So say if two terms y equal to f1 x and y equal to f2 x if two curves intersect at x0 y0 and at this point this point of intersection there are tangents tangents to both the curves are perpendicular Lines, then we say that these curves are said to be orthogonal curves. So here f dash of x0 y equal to f1 x f1 dash f1 dash at x0 this is tangent to first curve into second curve is 1 to f2 x so f2 dash at x0 at the same point x equal to x0 this is m1, this is m2. m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1. So using this property, we can solve problems related to orthogonal curves. Now question. Find the slope of tangent to the curve y equal to x minus 1 or x minus 2 at x equal to 10. This is not defined at 2. So here, y equal to x minus 1 upon x minus 2. We want slope of tangent. And just we discussed definition. Slope of tangent that means dy by dx. Slope of tangent at any point xy is dy by dx. So we find here dy by dx. So differentiating with respect to x, dy by dx is here, u by d. So, this graph, v as it is, derivative of u minus u as it is, derivative of v. v square v as it is, derivative of u minus u as it is, derivative of v. That is, x minus 2 whole square so x minus 2 into derivative of x minus 1 is 1 minus x minus 1 into derivative of x minus 2 is 1 so this is equal to x into 1 is x minus 2 minus x plus 1 upon x minus 2 whole square so this x will be cancelled minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 upon x minus 2 whole square so this is divided by dx now we want slope of tangent at x equal to 10 therefore slope of tangent at x equal to 10 is in divided by dx if x equal to 10. So putting here x equal to 10 minus 1 upon 10 minus 2 whole square 
that is minus 1 upon 64. So this is slope of tangent at x equal to 10. Now in this question, find the slope of log of since dy by dx gives the slope of tangent and to find the slope of normal we have definition slope of normal is minus 1 upon dy by dx so here also dy by dx is required to find slope of normal so in this question also we shall find dy by dx but you know here curl is given in parametric form x is a parameter of theta x is a function of theta y is a function of theta so first of all we differentiate both x and y with respect to theta so say here x equal to a cos theta so first I differentiate x with respect to theta so dx by d theta equal to a into derivative of cos cube theta with respect to theta is 3 into cos square theta into derivative of cos theta with respect to theta by chain rule. So it is equal to 3a cos square theta into derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta. So this is minus 3a cos square theta into sin theta dx by theta and now we take y y is a sin cube theta y is a sin cube theta so dy by d theta is a into sin cube theta is 3 sin square theta derivative of sin cube theta 3 sin square theta into derivative of sin theta so that is 3a into sin square theta into cos theta. So this is divided by a theta. Now from 1 and 2, from 1 and 2, dy by dx is dy by d theta upon dx by d theta that is equal to dy by d theta is 3a sin square theta into cos theta upon dx by d theta is minus 3a cos square theta into sin theta so this is equal to here 3a theta will be cancelled or sin theta Theta. So it is minus tan theta. So dy by dx is minus tan theta because x and y both are functions of theta, dy by dx is also function of theta. Now we want normal, slope of normal. Slope of normal that is minus 1 upon dy by dx so therefore slope of normal at theta equal to pi by 4 is 1 upon take the step of dy by dx change sign dy by dx means slope of tangent at slope of normal, that is tan is reasonable change sign because normal is perpendicular to tangent. And this value at theta equal to pi by 4. We can put here value of theta pi by 4 dy by dx at theta equal to pi by 4 is minus. 10 pi by 4 that is minus 1. So 
So this is dy by dx at theta equal to pi by 4. So this is slope of tangent. It is slope of tangent. So slope of normal at theta equal to pi by 4 will be a residual of this number, a change sign that is minus 1 upon minus 1. So it is plus 1. So slope of normal, slope of normal at theta equal to pi by 4 is 1. Find points at which the tangent to the curve y equal to x cube minus 3x square minus 9x plus 7 is parallel to x axis. See, tangent is a parallel to x axis. If any line is parallel to x axis, its slope is 0. So, in this question, slope of tangent is 0. That means dy by dx is 0. So, see, here y is equal to x cube minus 3x square minus 9x plus 7. So divide by dx is 3x square minus 6x minus 9. Now tangent is parallel to x axis. Tangent is parallel to x axis. Therefore, its slope is 0. Its slope is 0. Therefore, dy by dx is 0. dy by dx is 0. So, 3x square minus 6x minus 9 is 0. That is, x square minus 2x minus 3 is 0. So, x plus 1, x minus 3 is 0. Therefore, x is minus 1 or x is 3. So when x coordinate of a point is minus 1 or 3, then at that point, tangent will be parallel to x axis. So when x is minus 1, then we find the corresponding y coordinate. So put it here minus 1, minus 1. Q minus 3 into minus 1 square minus 9 into minus 1 plus 7. That is, it is equal to minus 1 Q is minus 1. This is minus 3. This is plus 9 plus 7. 9 plus 7, 16. 16 minus 4. That is 12. So when x is minus 1, y is 1. And when x, when x is 3, if x is 3, then y is 3 cube. Put here x 3. 3 cube minus 3 into 3 square minus 9 into 3 plus 7. So putting x equal to 3, 3 cube is 27 minus again 27 minus again 27 plus 7 so 27 minus 27 this is cancelled minus 27 plus 7 it is minus 20 therefore we obtain two points when x is minus 1 y is 12 and when x is 3 y is minus 20. So at these two points, tangent to this curve is parallel to x axis. So at these points, tangent is parallel to x axis. Here, if uh, words are Suppose instead of x, if you are here on y axis, then what will we change here? 
tangent is parallel to y axis. If tangent is parallel to y axis, then dy by dx is not defined. This is then not defined. So in that case, value of dy by dx may have denominator. So when dy by dx is not defined, that means value of the denominator is zero. But here there is no question of that discussion because dy by dx doesn't have a denominator. Now look at this question. Find the point on curve on this curve at which tangent is y equal to x minus 1. Here tangent is given. Here this is tangent. And from this equation we can find slope of tangent. Slope of y equal to x minus 11 is what will get so so if you compare this with y equal to mx plus c y equal to mx plus c so n is 1 so slope is 1 slope of this line is 1 now here y equal to x cube minus 11x plus 5 We want a point at which this line is an element. That means a point at which slope of tangent is 1. So, method will be similar to like this. Here, we know we can see over this question, we will take divide by dx 1. So, divide by dx equal to px plus minus a1. Now, Slope of tangent here. Slope of tangent is one. Slope of tangent is one. We need point of contact. So at which point slope of tangent is one? That means value of dy by dx is one. At which point it is one? That we need. So dy by dx is one. That means 3x square minus 11 is 1. So 3x square is 12. So x square is 4. So x is cos of minus 2. Now see, when x equal to 2, if x is 2, then y is 2 cube minus 11 into 2 plus 5. That is 8 minus 22 plus 5. So 8 plus 5, 13 minus 22 minus 9. So 2, when x is 2, y is minus 9. Then, if x is minus 2, when x is minus 2, then y is, putting there minus 2, minus 2 cube, minus 11 into minus 2 plus 5. So that is minus 8 plus 22 plus 5, 27 minus 8, minus 19. Now say 2 minus 9 here, yes. point 2 minus 9. This point, say we are finding points at which this is the tangent line. So, if these are the points, if these both are points at which this is the tangent, then these points, these both points, 2 minus 9 and minus 2 minus 9 in both must lie also on this line. Here we are finding point of contact. So, this line is y equal to x minus 1. We are finding this point at which this line is tangent. So whatever we will derive here, point must be common point, point of curve as well as point of line. So say these points we have obtained from the equation of curve. Now let me check. Are they lie also on this line? So if you put x equal to 2, then y is 
minus 9. So q minus 9 lies on y equal to x minus 11. So this is acceptable. Now take minus 2 minus 19. Minus 2 minus 19. This point is obtained from curve. It is point on curve. Now let me check. Does it lie on this line also? So put x equal to minus 2. Putting x minus 2. Y is minus 30. Not minus 90. So this point does not lie. But this point does not lie on Y equal to X minus 11. So it should not be point of contact. So here we are getting only one point of contact that is 2 minus 9. Therefore, required point is 2 minus 9. This is the answer. Now see, find the equation of all lines having slope 2, which are tangents to this curve. So equation of curve is given and slope of tangent is given. This is slope of tangent. That means this is dy by dx. So say here y is 1 upon x minus 3. We want equation of tangents having slope to be. So slope is given but to find equation of tangent a point on tangent is required. So to find point on tangent or point of contact we find divide by dx. So divide by dx is derivative of 1 upon x minus 3 is minus 1 upon x minus 3 whole square. Now here slope of tangent is 2. We want that slope of tangent is 2. That means this will be dy by dx it is equal to therefore minus 1 upon x minus 3 whole square is 2. Therefore 2 into x minus 3 whole square equal to minus 1. Now we solve this equation. So it is 2x square this middle term minus 6x into 2 minus 12x 9 into 2 18 equal to minus 1. So that is 2x square minus 12x plus 19 equal to 0. Minus 1 upon x minus 3 whole square is 2. So this is equal to minus 1. Exponent this x square into 2 to x square minus 6x into 2 minus 12x plus 9 into 2 18. Then take 1 on this side. So 18 plus 1, 19. So now this is quadratic equation. We solve this equation. Here 19 into 2, 38. We don't have parts of 38 so that the sum is minus 12. So we find a discriminant. Here a discriminant is minus b square, b square minus 4a into c. That is discriminant is b is equal to 144 minus 4 into 2 8 19 into 8 see 19 into 2 38 38 into 4 that is 120 so it is 152 so 152 so that is 144 minus 1, 152 that is minus 
So discriminant is negative. Discriminant is negative. Therefore, there does not exist point. Solution of this equation does not exist. Therefore, solution of equation does not exist. Therefore, there is no any point to slope this to therefore there does not exist any point on curve at which tangent has slope so here no such point exists. Otherwise, the people to solve this equation. If discriminant is positive, we could solve this equation. We could get the roots of this equation. We could get at the maximum two roots, or at least one root of this equation. And corresponding value of x, we could find value of y. And after finding that points, we could find equation of a tangent. But here, no tangent exists. Therefore, there does not exist any tangent having slope to So, no tangent exists. With slope to Now, in this question, Find equation of tangent and normal to this curve. Here curve is x raised to 4 minus 6x cube plus 13x square minus 10x plus 5. To find equation of tangent and equation of normal, we require divide by dx. So divide by dx equal to 4x cube minus 18x square plus 26x minus 10. Now we find value of dy by dx at 1, 3. Let's make it x equal to 1 and y equal to 3. So putting here x equal to 1. Only x is visible. So we keep x equal to 1. There is no y in this value. Otherwise we should keep both x and y. So x equal to 1. So put in here x equal to 1. 4 into 1 square, 1 cube, minus 18 into 1 square, plus 26 into 1 minus 10. So it is equal to 4 minus 18 plus 26 minus 10. It is equal to 26 plus 4, 30. 30 minus 10, 20. 20 minus 18, 2. So this is plus 2. See again, 26 plus 4, 30. 30 minus 10, 20. 20 minus 18, 2. So divide by dx. This value is. So slope of a tangent. Therefore, slope of tangent at 1, 3 is 2. This is slope of tangent. So equation of tangent, equation of tangent at one plane is y minus y1 equal to m, m into x minus x1 using slope point from y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1 that is y minus 3 is 2x minus 2. So 2x minus y plus 1 equal to 0. This is equation of tangent at 1, 3. Now, we find equation of normal. For that, slope of normal. Slope of normal at 1, 3. Slope of normal at 1, 3, that is minus 1 upon dy by dx 
at one place. Now this value is obtained, that is 2. So this is minus 1 by 2. This will be slope of normal. Therefore, equation of normal. Right. One way is y minus y equal to m into x minus x1. Therefore, 2y minus 6 is minus x plus 1. Therefore, x plus 2y minus 7 equal to 0. This is the equation of normal. Now find points on this curve at which tangents are parallel to x axis, parallel to y axis. Remember, when tangent is parallel to x axis, dy by dx is 0. And when tangent is parallel to y axis, then dy by dx is not defined. So we are going to use these rules. First of all, we find dy by dx. Here x square by 9 plus y square by 16 equal to 1. Now differentiating with respect to x, derivative of this is 2x upon 9 plus 2y upon 16 into dy by dx equal to 0. So dy by dx. 2y by 16 into dy by dx equal to minus 2x by 9. This 2, 2 will be cancelled. So dy by dx equal to minus 16 into x upon 9 into y. So this is dy by dx. This is result. Now, we solve the first part of the question. If tangent is parallel to x axis, if tangent is parallel to x axis, then dy by dx is equal to at that point, dy by dx is 0. At that point, value of dy by dx is 0. That means minus 16xy 9y is 0. That means this is possible by axis. So on the curve where x coordinate is 0, tangent is parallel to x axis. Now, a point whose x coordinate is 0, we are finding corresponding y coordinate. So, putting this value in the equation of curve, therefore, or if x is 0, then putting 0 in this curve, 0 square by 9 plus y square by 16 is 1. So, y square is, therefore, y square is 16, so y is plus minus 4. Therefore, at 0 plus minus 4, on curve B, we have found two points, 0, 4 and 0, minus 4. So at these points, at these points, tangents are parallel to x axis. At this point, tangents are parallel to x axis. Now, to reply the second question, parallel to y axis. If tangents, if tangent is parallel to y axis, That means it is vertical line. If tangent is vertical line, then slope is not defined. Slope is not defined, that means dy by dx 
at that point at that point dy by dx is not defined and dy by dx is not defined that means this is not defined so minus 16xy 9y is not defined and this value is not defined if denominator is 0 so y is equal to 0 when y is 0 ratio is not defined and when y is 0 if y is 0 then putting y is 0 in this equation x square by 9 plus 0 square by 16 is 1 so x square is 9 so x is plus minus Therefore, at plus minus 3, 0, tangents are parallel to y-axis. Tangents are parallel to y-axis. Find the equation of tangent to this curve, which is parallel to this line. Perpendicular to this one. In finding equation of tangent, we require dy by dx. So first of all, we find dy by dx. Here, y is x square minus 2x plus 7. So dy by dx is 2x minus. Now we find tangent is parallel to this line. So first part 2x minus y plus 9 equal to 0. If required tangent is parallel to the line 2x minus y plus 9 equal to 0, then its slope is equal to slope of this line, slope of y equal to 2x plus 9. Slope of tangent is equal to slope of this line. If two lines are parallel, their slopes are equal. That means slope of this line is 2. Y equal to mx plus c. So, therefore, now, this is slope of tangent. So, that means dy by dx should be equal to 2. Therefore, now dy by dx is 2x minus 2. So 2x is 4. So x is equal to 2. Now when x is 2, we find corresponding y. So when x is 2, y is equal to putting here 2, 2 square minus 2 into 2 plus 7. That is it is equal to 4 minus 4 plus 7, so 7. Therefore, at point 27, at point 27, slope of tangent is 2. At point 27, slope of tangent is 2. So its equation is therefore its equation is y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1. Therefore y minus 7 is 2x minus 4. So therefore y is equal to 2x plus 7 minus 4 is 3. So this is required. 
So this is equation of tangent parallel to this line. Now second part. We want tangent which is perpendicular to this line. Here given line is required line is perpendicular. Perpendicular to this line, phi y minus fifteen x equal to thirteen. Phi y minus fifteen x equal to thirteen. Then required line is required tangent. It's a required tangent. Required tangent is perpendicular to this line. Then it's a slope. Is equal to because two perpendicular lines have slope in the relation m one into m two minus one. So slope of first line is equal to minus one upon slope of this line. Slope of this line can be expressed as y equal to fifteen x fifteen by five. That is three x. Plus thirteen by five. So here five y minus fifteen x is thirteen. So five y is fifteen x plus thirteen. So y is three x plus thirteen by five. So slope of Required tangent, which is perpendicular to this line, is equal to minus one upon slope of this one. So that is minus one upon. Now slope of this line is three. So here divide by dx. Therefore, divide by dx is minus one upon three. Divide by dx. That is two x minus two. So two x minus two is minus one upon three. Therefore, six x minus six is minus one. So six x is five. Therefore, six x is equal to six minus one is five. So x is four by six. Now when x is five by six, we find y. Putting in this equation, x five by six. When x is five by six, y is equal to Five by six whole square minus two into five by six plus seven. That is twenty five by thirty six minus. This will be five by three plus seven. LCM is thirty six. So twenty five minus sixty plus thirty six into seven. Thirty into seven two hundred ten. Two hundred ten plus forty two, two fifty two. So this is twenty uh, five minus sixty minus thirty five, two fifty two minus thirty five. So that will be we have seven one two one seven seven plus five five three four five. So two one seven. So this will be. Two one seven upon thirty six. So when x is one by six, y coordinate is two one seven by thirty six. Therefore, therefore, f five by six comma two one seven by thirty six. Slope of a tangent. Slope of Tangent. Slope of tangent will be. It will be minus one by three. Here only calculate. Slope of tangent was minus one by three. So equation of tangent. Therefore, its equation is 
y minus y1 equal to m into x minus x1. Simplifying this, thirty six y minus two one seven y thirty six equal to here minus one into here six x minus five upon eighteen. Here eighteen into two thirty six. So therefore. Thirty-six y minus two minus seven is equal to multiply this for this side minus two into six x is minus plus x. minus two into minus five is plus ten. So the equation is y x plus thirty-six y minus two hundred twenty-seven is zero. So this is required. Equation of tangent, which is perpendicular to this one. So whenever we want equation of tangent, which is parallel to or perpendicular to some particular given line, this is the method. Find the point on the curve y equal to x cube at which slope of tangent is equal to y coordinate of point. That means what? If this is a curve, and at this point this is a tangent, then slope of this tangent line is equal to y coordinate of this point. If this point is x y, then slope is equal to y coordinate y. That is the meaning of this question. So say here. We need coordinates of this point. Find the point on curve at which this happens. So here, y is equal to x cube. To find slope of tangent, we differentiate with respect to x. So divide by dx is equal to three x square. Divide by dx is three x square. Now, slope of tangent. Is given that y slope of tangent is equal to y coordinate. Slope of tangent at which point x y is equal to y. Therefore, slope of tangent at x y that is d y by d x is equal to y. Therefore, three x square is equal to That is, three x square is equal to now what is y? Y is x cube, so it is equal to x cube because y is x cube. This is a point on curve. This is x. This is f of x. Means y is what? Y is x cube. So here we get y equal to x cube. Therefore. X cube minus three x square is zero. Therefore, x square upon x minus three is zero. So x is zero or x is three. Now, if x is zero, then putting here zero, y is zero, and if x is three. Then y is putting here three. Y is twenty seven. So equal points are zero, zero, and three twenty seven. So there are such two points at which slope of tangent will be equal to y coordinate of that point. Now here, find the equation of normal at this point. Point is given. Equation of curve is given. So here, 
a into y square is equal to x t. To find equation of log ball or equation of tangent, every time we require divide by dx. So differentiating with respect to x. So differentiating with respect to x. E into 2y divided by dx equal to dx square. Therefore, dy by dx is equal to dx square upon 2ay. This is dy by dx. This will be used to find slope of normal at that point. So now in this dy by dx, make it point am square am cube. So value of dy by dx at that point is equal to 3 into x is am square. So we have a m square whole square or 2a into y is am cube am cube so it is equal to 3 into a square into m raised to 4 or 2a square into m cube so it is this will be cancelled m cube will be cancelled so it is 3m by 2 so this is slope of tangent this value is slope of tangent at this point. So slope of normal, slope of normal at point am square am cube is equal to minus one upon this number minus one upon when we find the slope of normal what we do we get the slope of this number and we check the sign so minus one upon dy by dx at a m square a m cube that is slope of normal is equal to minus one upon only get calculated three m by two is minus 2 by dm. So equation of normal, therefore, equation of normal at this point, am square am cube is y minus y1. y minus y1 is equal to slope into x minus x1 y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 that is now my design is on this side 3m y minus 3am raised to 4 is equal to minus 2x plus 2a m square therefore now taking this one on this side 2x plus 3my equal to 3am raised to 4 plus 2am square or uh, keep this as it is take this number on this side equal to 0 that is 2x plus 3my minus here am square common inside 3m square minus 3m plus 2 close the bracket equal to 0 this is a one equation prove that these curves cut at right angle if 8 a square is 1 two curves are said to be intersecting at right angle if Tangents at their point of intersection are perpendicular lines. We discuss in theory part orthogonal curves. Two curves intersect at right angle. If at point of intersection this line is tangent to this curve 
is nice standard to this curve. If both tangents are perpendicular, then curves are said to be intersecting at right angle. So first of all, here we will find intersection point. What is the intersection of these two curves? So to find the intersection. Find the intersection point of xy equal to k, uh, sorry, x equal to y square and xy equal to k. We solve these equations. Solving these equations, I take value of x, y square in this equation. Or from this equation, we can take value of y. K by x in this equation. So here x equal to y square I am taking here. So x into x is y square into x equal to y square putting here y square into y equal to k. So y k is k. So y is k is to 1 by k. Y is k is to 1 by 3. So x equal to y square putting here value of y k is to 1 by 3 x is k is to 2 by 3 so point of intersection is point of intersection is k is to 2 by 3 comma k is to 1 by 3 now at this point of intersection we find slope of tangents to that a slope of tangents to these curves so now to find the slope of tangent to both the curves one by one we find dy by dx first of all yx equal to y square differentiating with respect to x 1 is equal to 2y into dy by dx. That is, dy by dx is 1 upon 2y. Now, at this point, in this equation, I take this one. So, dy by dx at k is to 2 by 3, comma k is to 1 by 3 equal to. 1 upon 2 into y is k raised to 1 by 3. So it is slope of tangent. Slope of tangent to this curve at point of intersection. That is slope of tangent at point of intersection. So x equal to y square k is n1 equal to 1 upon 2 into k is to 1 by 3. Now we find n2. For second term, xy is k. xy is k. Now differentiating with respect to x, x equal to y by dx. Plus y into 1 is 0. So dy by dx equal to minus y by x. So that is x into dy by dx plus y into 1 equal to 0. So dy by dx is minus 1 by x. So dy by dx. Now in this equation, make a point of intersection. K is to 2 by 3, comma K is to 1 by 3. So minus, now Y is K is to 1 by 3. X is K is to 2 by 3. So this is minus, it is equal to minus K is to 1 upon K is to 1 by 3. Therefore, Slope of a tangent. Slope of a 
tangent at point of intersection to this curve x y equal to k is this m two m two is minus one upon k is two minus k. Now curves cut at right angle. Now see. We multiply these products. We multiply value of this source m one into m two is equal to one upon two into k is two upon y k into minus one upon k is two one by k. So it is equal to minus one upon two into k is two two by k. Then now see we are given eight k square is one. Eight k square is one. This is the one. Eight k square is one. So k square is one by eight. Now we are going to use this value here. So minus one upon two into k square is two. One by eight. Anything in that way. So we can use this value. So minus one upon two into one by eight is two one by three. So minus one upon two into one by two. So it is minus one. So we have used this value in this step. So therefore, m one into m two is minus one. Therefore, curves cut at right angle. Y equal to four x u minus two x is two five. Suppose uh, this curve is y equal to four x u minus two x is two five. For this curve, find all the points at which tangent passes through origin. Suppose that at this point E B there is a tangent. And tangent is passing from origin. Say here, let the point of contact be E. At E, tangent is passing from origin. And As tangent passes through origin, equation of tangent is it can be taken as equation of tangent it can be taken as. Y equal to mx. Now see, E B lies on tangent. S point E B lies on y equal to mx. So we can substitute this value in this equation. So B is equal to m into a. B is m a. So that means m is equal to B by A. So we say this is relation one. Now at this point we find dy by dx. Now y is four x cube minus two x raised to five. So dy by dx is twelve x twelve minus ten x raised to four. Now dy by dx at e b equal to twelve a square minus ten a is two four. Putting x equal to a, 
So this is slope of tangent at E. Therefore, slope of the tangent at E is which already we have taken here. The any slope here N is slope of tangent. So slope of tangent already M taken. So M will be equal to by this rule. This will be equal to twelve a square minus ten a to four. So this is equal to two. Now from one and two, from one and two, we compare these values. D by A is equal to one a square minus ten a to four. So D is equal to twelve a cube minus ten a to five. This is relation three. We want the coordinates of E. We want point. We need all the points on the curve at which tangent passes through it. So we are doing this procedure to find value of E. So we are going to have equations in E and E. Now see. From these two values, this is relation between A and B. Now, this point also lies on this curve. Also, point A lies on y equal to 4x cube minus 2x is to 5. Point lies on line as well as it's a point on the curve. It's a tangent point, so it's a common point. Therefore, putting this value here, B is equal to 4A cube minus 2A is to 5. So this is equation number 4. Now we solve equation 3 and 4. So from 3 and 4, twelve a cube minus 10 A is to 5 is 4 e cube minus 2 e raised to 5. That is 8 e cube minus 8 e raised to 5 is 0. So 8 e cube is common. 1 minus e square is 0. So e cube is 0 or 1 minus e square is 0. So e is 0 or a square is 1. So e is 0 or a is plus minus 1. Now to find corresponding to b, we use either a relation 3 or a relation 4. So if e is 0, now we use this equation 3. From 3, let me use 4 because here numbers are smaller. 4 and 2, here numbers are greater, 5 and 10, so this is better. So from 4, when E is 0, then B is 0. When A is 1, put here 1. So B is 4 minus 2, that is 2. And when E is minus 1, put here minus 1. So 4 into minus 1 cube minus 2 into minus 1 raised to 5. That is, this will be minus 4 plus 2, that is minus 2. Let me show this value also in detail. When A is 1, put in A1, 4 into 1 cube minus 2 into 1 raised to 5. So that is 4 minus 2, that is 2. So therefore, therefore, required points are when A is 0, A is 0. A is 
1, B is 2. And when A is minus 1, B is minus 2. 